Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and this is a special request RPG Maker MV tutorial. And I received an email from somebody asking how to improve upon their fishing system, and they've asked a couple of questions, so I've designed a very, very super duper basic fishing system to answer a couple of questions. And the questions we're going to be covering, um, I'll just read uh, somewhat of what uh, I received. He goes, um, I have two questions for you. If I have 10 bait and each time you use one, I want a message to pop up saying you have blank bait left or you're out of bait. How would I add that? I still can't figure out how to get my fishing to gain levels as I fish so you can fish bigger and better treasures as I gain levels. So let's take a look at the super duper basic fishing system I've designed. And uh, basically you go here and it first, uh, first tells you how much bait you have. It tells you your fishing level. And then it asks you if you'd like to go fishing. If you say no, nothing happens. If you say let's go fishing, it's going to check your skill. If you don't have enough skill to fish in this spot, it won't let you fish. It'll tell you your skill level and it'll let you know the, how much skill you need for this particular spot. Um, so let's go ahead and debug and say we have enough fishing skill. So this only requires one fishing skill, so we'll just put our fishing at level one. So now we have level one fishing skill. And it's saying, here's our fishing skill, here's our bait, let's go fishing. We don't have enough bait for that. So it lets us know we don't have any bait left. So let's open this chest and get some bait. So now we have our fishing skill. Uh, we meet the requirement and we have bait, so let's go fishing. So it does a little wait and then it plays a sound effect. It gives you, uh, lets you know you fished up an item. It increases your skill and it tells you your, to uh, your total skill. So if we were to, to keep doing this, you can see that we have nine bait left. So it's taking the bait it's increasing our skill and it's giving us an item. And there's a number of ways I would improve upon this fishing system, but I just kind of threw this together to make the tutorial. So you can see we've used two of our bait um, and we've got our uh, fish for that. And we're also getting our fishing level skilled up. See, now it's level three. Now it's level four. Okay, so let me show you um, how to do that. So you can award your bait however you want. I just put it in the chest. Um, you can set your skills by starting or you can uh, put control variables in uh, your event uh, when you get your fishing rod or whatever. Uh, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to do um, control variables. So you're going to right click insert new control variables on uh, tab 1 and you're basically going to create a new variable. Remember the number that you're using. Uh, set it to game data. So you're going to click on the operand of game data and you're going to go to item and you're going to select the the bait. So in this case, we're using the earthworm bait, and we're setting the variable to the number of bait we have. So that's the first thing that happens. So it, it checks to see how many you have and it stores that number in a variable. The next thing we're going to do, most of the things that you're asking uh, will be uh, just using text commands. So you will need a plugin for this. You're going to need um, Yanfly's core engine, and you're going to need the Yanfly engine message core. That's going to let you add functionality. And if you look in the help file, you'll see all of the functionality you can add by um, using slash commands. But we're only going to be using some of these uh, slash commands. So let's look at this text here. So right off the bat, it's saying you currently have slash v 107. Now the reason why we're using 107 because we're calling on a variable here with slash v forward slash, and we're using 107 here to 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 store the number of earthworm bait we have. So the first thing we did was we controlled that variable to set it to the number of earthworms we have, and now we're displaying that variable. So it's saying we have this many, uh, and this next command, forward slash ii, is, stands for item icon, or icon of an item. And then this is 192. So let's look at our database, and if we see uh, item 192 is our earthworm bait. So when you use that text command, it's calling on uh, the name and the icon for that. So it's saying we have this many of this item. It's also a good idea to use this instead of just typing out the name of the item because it'll show the icon, which looks kind of cool. So it'll say you have 10 uh, earthworm bait left or remaining, whatever you want. So you can use that II to do call upon any item and show the icon, it's really cool. Uh, the next thing I threw in there, you didn't particularly ask for that, but I thought it was kind of cool. You can see that how fishing skill is in blue. So another uh, text command you can do is forward slash C. And this will go from 0, which will be white, all the way to I think 31 or 32, which would be black. And there's a bunch of different numbers 
that it'll store. So if I were to change this to 25, you'll see it'll change the color. I thought the blue would be most appropriate for fishing, since uh, water is typically uh, classified as blue. Um, so it's showing, showing your fishing skill is zero. And uh, what we're doing here is we're calling on another variable. So um, you're going to have to create another variable. Uh, your fishing skill, you can do this at the beginning of the game or, or anywhere you want. You can even put this control variable um, at the top. But remember, if you set it to zero, every time you, you use this event, it's going to set it to zero. That's why I didn't do it at the top here. But basically, you just create a new variable, um, reference the number where it's at, call it fishing skill, and just add one when you get to this point in the, this, the event. But we're going to get down there. So that after you've uh, just, uh, controlled your variables, you've showed your text, letting the player know how much bait they have left, what their fishing skill is, and uh, ask the player if they want to go fishing. Um, one, one thing I will let you know is um, after you put in this text command to, to color text, everything after that is going to be that color. So in order to go back to the white text, as you see right here, it is zero. Uh, this is in white you have to specify the color is now zero and your default is zero. So after you've uh, selected the color for the item you want, you'll have to do the same command again, giving it zero as saying everything after this is back to normal. And we're calling on our fishing skill variable right here. We set our fishing skill variable 108. You can see that's 108. So we're calling on that variable right there. And then it's asking the player, do you want to go fishing? After that, we're going to show choices because we're asking the player a question, so we want to give them an option to interact. <clears throat> so uh, right-click, insert, new show choices. You can uh, make this however you want. I just said, you can even leave it yes or no. I just said, let's go fishing or not right now. And the default I've set to let's go, let's go fishing because if they're, they're going to the dock or the pier to go fishing, they probably want to go fishing, not just cancel back. So default on the first option. And then the cancel choice will be the no or not right now. Underneath that, we're going to um, check a variable. So we're going to right-click, insert new conditional branch. It's on the first tab. And on this uh, conditional branch, we're checking to see if they have enough fishing skill. So we're going to select variable, and we're going to select our fishing skill. And we're going to say greater than. And then we, if we want them to require one fishing skill, it has to be greater than zero. If we want them to have ten fishing skill, it would have to be greater than nine. So whatever your uh, requirement is going to be, you would just make your constant one less than that using greater than. You can also go one and make it equal to or greater than. So that'll work the same. It's up to you. But we're going to select a uh, create an else branch. And underneath this, we need to check to see if they have any bait. So we're going to do another conditional branch. Uh, and this time we're checking an item. Um, you could also reference the variable that you're using to store earthworm uh, bait. But since I showed you how to do that, I wanted to show you another option. Conditional branch actually has the ability to check if you have one particular item. And since you only need one bait to go fishing with, uh, I thought this would be a good idea to use this one and show two different uh, ways that you can do this. If you want to make a fishing spot that would require two or three or more baits, then you can use variable check your um, uh, earthworm count, and that would work too. But what we're going to do is item, since we're only going to require one, have it earthworm bait, and we're also going to create an else branch because we want to let the player know that why they can't fish here because they don't have enough bait. So we've got two conditions. When they say yes, they have to have enough skill and they have to have the bait. If you want them to require to have um, a fishing rod, you can do the fishing rod conditional branch anywhere in here and it'll uh, with an else handler saying, oh, you don't have the fishing rod or um, you don't have it equipped or um, whatever you want it to say really. <clears throat> Underneath that, we've met all the conditions. So what we need to do is uh, consume that earthworm bait because we're attaching it to our fishing rod and we're going to throw it in the water. Now we're doing a simple wait command. So insert new, um, it's under tab 2 on timing. And when we do 60 frames, that's one second. So it's like it takes a second to fish. You can change this number to make it last as long as you want. And you can also um, show text here like with three dots or something if you want to, uh, or even show animations or sound effects or whatever. I've just made it wait one second for simplicity and uh, show uh, one sound effect that the fish is biting the line. Next thing we're going to do, we've got the fish, so we're going to control variables and we're going to add one to our fishing skill. So control variables and we're going to select our fishing skill 
and we're going to use the oper operation of, a uh, of add and we're going to do a constant one and you can change this uh, to whatever you want if it's like requires a special type of bait and or rod and or um, high skill level you may want to add two points or ten points it's up to you so we're controlling variable and we're adding one to our fishing skill and then we're going to do another show tech saying you fished up a item icon 193 so if we look at our database, our item uh, 193 is our largemouth bass. So it's letting the player know that we found a largemouth bass. And it's also going to show the picture of it in front of the text, uh, which is going to look better that way. So we found our item uh, 193, and we're showing the text by going forward slash ii, and then brackets 193. Then we're going to say your fishing skill, we're still using our coloring brackets, is increased by one, or whatever number you change it to. Underneath that, we're going to update and say your fishing skill is now, and we're calling on the variable that's storing our fishing skill, our variable 108, which is showed right here. Underneath that, we need to award the item. So we've got our largemouth bass, so we're just doing a change item for the remove, and we're doing a change item for the add. We're getting rid of the bait, doing all of that, adding the fish. On the else handler for the um, to check in if they have the bait item, you would just say you don't have any, and you're going to show the item icon for the bait, which would be uh, item 192 left. Uh, on the else handler for the fishing skill, we're doing it just to show text with the uh, coloring note tag saying your fishing skill is currently and we're calling on the variable 108 to show them their current fishing skill and saying that this spot requires coloring the fishing skill level whatever you want it to require and this number right here would reflect this conditional statement right there and that's it and when they say no nothing else is going to happen if they don't have enough the else handler, handler is going to break it if they don't have uh, enough skill um, the else handler is going to break it and that's basically it so Basically what you're asking is how to use certain item note tags. Remember to install the core engine above the Yanfly message core. I'll put a link in the description below where you can get those things. So that's going to do it for this uh, tutorial. Thank you guys so much for being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for all the support you guys have been giving me. Thank you. If you like this video, remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next tutorial.